They were one looking to a foreigner from me in the Philippines. Well, then the you guys, you, you guys know me. I can never just leave anything the way that it is. I've got to always be messing with it. And I, and I will say that this wasn't uh, first my idea. This was uh, the lady Marcel. She wanted this done. I probably would never have gotten it done or never had the idea were it not for Marcel. But she wants to... Uh, I would have eventually probably come up with the idea because the... You know, I moved this seedling tray seedling trays the seedling enclosure here uh, inside so that it's a nice central location here so that um, it's we have a place to store the the potting medium and the the plants after they're transferred from the uh, starting trays into those little three inch pots we've got there we have a place to to keep it all keep all of it away from the dogs but um, there's too much shade you can see from these tomato plants here that they're all trying to they're all leaning towards the back part of this uh, this little rat proof enclosure we've got here and so there's not enough sunlight so what I'm having the guys do is all these viable peppers that are in here, that are that were in these pots, uh, like BB, <laughs> when he uh, first got shot and was uh, under the weather, let's say, I, I wanted to give him a little bit of special care, and so I moved him in here away from the other dogs. Because you know dogs, if one is sick or one is injured, then everybody else picks on them. And so I moved BB in here so that I could uh, give him special food, a little special care for four days, I think, he, I had him in here. But in that time, you know, he's, he doesn't like being pinned up. And so he, he and, and all these containers were along the edge here, right? And so as he would pace this enclosure, he was stepping on them. And so he destroyed, I don't know, maybe 10% of the plants that are in these pots so I'm having the guys move the ones that are still good up underneath there because we're going to remove all this NEPA uh, it's damaged the, that damage there is all from the typhoon anyway it's not it, it's no longer a uh, a waterproof uh, roof so uh, it's going to remove it so that there's more sunlight in here for the the seedlings so we're going to move all this stuff out of the way and they're going to get to tearing this off here i think these plants that are in pots you know one of the, the one of the reasons that we put them in pots is so they could harden a bit uh, and get get a little bit more used to the sun than what they will get uh, in that enclosure there and they're not going to get used to the sun if they're in the shade. Now they'll still have quite a bit of shade here because this is right next to the house. So there's not going to be any sunlight on them even without this roof until about 11 o'clock in the morning. And then all those trees there, they're not going to, they're going to be in shade as well from about 3 o'clock in the afternoon on. So they're only going to get about four hours of direct sun a day anyway. But, uh... That would be a lot more than what they're getting right now. We may and we may not put a screen over the top of this. A net. We will wait and see how things do in here. If we need to regulate the sun a bit, if it, if it turns out that it's just too intense, then we'll we'll put some shade netting over it. But I don't anticipate having to do that.
we will see. It'll just take some visual inspection. If I ever come out here on a fully sunny day and there's plants in here that have been transferred into pots like those and they're wilted, then you know, they're getting too much sun. And we'll go from there. But we haven't had a clear and sunny day here in about a month. So nothing to worry about at the moment. All right, this is always the most fun part, the cleanup. But it's all down. And I keep talking about it, but I'm going to just have to remember to do it. Give these lemon trees some love. It's all down up there. It's a lot more light in there. A lot more light for these new little seedlings. You know those uh, peppers there that you see have come up They're up here. Yeah, they're up on the top tier. Those there, those are those old seeds that uh, uh, Arvin gave me. And they came up. I'm going to go around and have a little better look at them. Yeah, these plants are going to love this a lot more. But anyway, I these are the those old pepper seeds. These two trays here, and they weren't that old. They came up just fine. Those tomatoes back there did not. Uh, I think they were just too old. They would have they would have been the first out of the ground if they, if they were going to come up, and they just they're not going to do it. So in about a week, we're going to start transferring these tomato plants. Probably should start doing it already. And about a week after that, we'll start transferring the pepper plants into pots. I've got more seeds I need to start. I'll begin those in about a week. So yeah, it looks a mess right now, but it's going to be a lot more better. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.